We are here today in Strahan, Tasmania, and we are going on board this cruise. The only thing I saw was a possum. That's not me. So you were in the oldest rainforest on the planet, which is cool temperate. Here we are today in Strahan, Tasmania, and we are going on board the Habermaster 2. And this cruise will bring us on the western coast of Tasmania into the Macquarie Harbour, where we are going to see the UNESCO World Heritage Site. We have booked a cruise um, on the 9 a.m. morning cruise on the upper deck with a window seating. So we are so excited to show you guys what the sites and attractions are all about like on this cruise. See you there. There are two operators in Strahan that runs tours through the Macquarie Harbour and into the Gordon River. We chose our tour operated by the World Heritage Cruises and this cruise has two floors, local family owned and the boat unveiled only in 2020. We chose to sit at the upper deck because it offers us a more luxurious views of the river even though it comes to be slightly more expensive than the lower deck. On board, they offer a free selection of juice and fruits. With your purchase, you get a snack of your choice, coffee and a locally sourced meal. The tour is about 6 hours long. And since we didn't eat much during breakfast, Shar and I decided to get our tummies filled with some coffee and tea. She ordered a muffin and a cup of flat white while I ordered a shortcake cookie that is shaped like the island of Tasmania. Not before long, we cruise across the Macquarie Harbour towards the direction of Hell's Gate, where convicts named the narrow entry on their way to the hell on earth of Sarah Island. But a lot of science uh, goes into this fish tucker too, because it's all about the fish health, their growth, fish quality, colour and flavour. So what are we looking at here, okay? These big circles, well they're made out of a full plastic, they float on the water, secured into position by anchors. These farms can only occur in the 10 allocated least fish farming areas they have. That's the only place they can farm in Macquarie Harbour. So we are, right now we are on Sarah Island. This island used to be where like a lot of convicts were sent here. They are put in solitary isolation. Punishment was happening almost on a daily basis. Um, we are here right now to look out at some of the ruins. to the banishment settlements. By reputation, it was the bloodiest, the cruelest, and the harshest. In fact, tales of cannibalism arise from here. These structures were hollow. They had a platform on top, and then rocks, rubble, and gravel, and they had a good working surface. But over the 200 years since then, these structures have largely fallen in. But the original timbers still line the shore here. We estimate 150 or so of them, each weighing several tons and put there by convict power. We just had a very, very good like walking tour with the tour guide. She, and she was explaining to us like about how the whole place came about between like 1920s to 1930s and starting from like this place turning from like a place that most convicts will fear under the realm of King George IV all the way to like when you know this place turning into a, a prominent shipyard where they built like a lot of vessels in one year and I, I really enjoyed it a lot. After lunch we sailed into the Gordon River towards Heritage Landing which is also the turnaround point in our last stop of the tour. As we cruised into the Franklin Gordon Wild Rivers National Park, I've learned that much of the land was shaped by ancient glaciers.
As the crew stopped over at Heritage Landing, we learned more about the Huon Pines. These trees are a species of conifer native to this part of Tasmania. They are some of the oldest living organisms on Earth and can grow up to 3,000 years. Oh, I want to find the animals. Pink robins, frogs. Fun fact, only the male frogs call to attract the female. I saw, the only thing I saw was a possum. That's not me. <laughs> but a lot of people don't realise that this cool temper rainforest actually is older than the Dane tree. So you are in the oldest rainforest on the planet, which is cool temperate. Now that means that all of the leaves in here are relatively tiny and small because normally a cool temperate rainforest is closed canopy or deep ravine as we're in now. <laughs> and um, if I be very quiet for a moment, you'll notice absolute silence, which is what we expect in a cool temperate rainforest. It's about three o'clock right now and towards the end we kind of got to saw a little bit of a demonstration for how they actually saw the pines. Um, these are called Huon Pines. Um, it's the native pines from the region. The trip itself uh, was pretty enjoyable. Everything was very very well crafted and timed very well and we got to enjoy the views and the highlight of Macquarie Harbour as well as the Gordon River. It is just one of the more beautiful scenes that I've ever seen in my life before. So I think till next time, I'm going to bring you to more beautiful places. See you next time, vlog. <laughs>